Hey guys, Chorus and Searles here, and I'm going to do a little breakdown of my outdoor session that I did yesterday on the rollerblades. Video's been a little choppy tonight, so hopefully this works well. So the first thing I start with, and the reason that I'm starting with the Goudreaux, is what they're called, is because I want to kind of work on my Dolan style skating. So his strengths are Goudreaux, um, the Dolan stride, which is a Goudreaux uh, that s quickly flows into a hip scissor. And then hip scissors are key, as well as the key mechanics that he uses to execute these movements. So hip tilt, hip twist, soft ankles heel pressure, and a few other important mechanics that we typically talk about at Train 2.0 and mechanics that I'm really focused on mastering. So first things first, we work on our Goudreaux. So the first one, not the greatest. Here we start to see a little bit better movement. And here's where I see a nice one. So if we go back just a little bit, what we basically want to see on this is I want to see a nice hip tilt. So, if we're to look here, I want to see these hips tilt this direction. And I want to see these shoulders tilted this direction. The reason I want to see that is because that's going to allow for this ankle over here to be nice and soft and then quickly C cut and drop down. And then and also, I want to see this hip here on the right side kind of twist a little bit back. And what that's going to allow is for that quick turn, quick Goudreau movement. It's very deceptive and very hard for guys to read when you're moving quickly. Now you can see, I, as you watch, I'm really just lacking that hip twist and hip tilt. The hip tilt is the biggest weakness here. And watch on these last couple. If we pause at any point during these good rows, you can kind of see that I'm more reaching up with this shoulder instead of dropping it down and softening that hip bring this hip back. <clears throat> I'm doing it a little bit, but just not as much as I'd like to see, and I'd like to see this foot come forward into that C a little quicker. You kind of see it kind of lags behind. It's soft, which is good, but it's lagging behind, and that tilt is just not quite there. And again, you can see on all these, just not quite. It's almost there. Now on this one, what I work on is I'm working on striding and then Goudreauing. So again, the shoulders now, I'm dipping those shoulders a little better, but now I'm kind of lacking that hip drop. So again, really want to work on that next time, as I'm noticing here. The stride. You can see like this one, the hip kind of softens, which is nice to see. So you can even see the angle of my shirt the hip is actually kind of tilted like that, which is what I want to see on every movement. And I want to see this foot kind of coming forward, this knee coming over top of the foot, which means that I have really good ankle flexion. And then the soft ankle, like I just said. The shoulder is doing nice here. What I also would like to see is the shoulder rotate back that direction a little bit more. And that's going to allow my body to kind of initiate that twist, bringing this foot in this direction a little sharper. What you'll see is I just don't really make that C cut very smooth. It starts to, but it just kind of stays there in position, kind of sinks down like it's in sand or something. And you'll see it one last time. Again, now we're starting to get that hip tilt. I really noticed that I wasn't doing it at the beginning, and now as I'm doing the stride to Goudreau, you can see that tilt is happening nicely. So I'm really liking that improvement that and that adjustment I made right away without needing to look at the video. So this one, now I'm working on the Goudreau to a hip scissor, which we call the Dolan at Train 2.0. So we Goudreau here, so you can see that Goudreau. This is a poor one, there's absolutely no hip twist or hip tilt or, twi or twist here. Very weak on the twist. And then what I want to see is that ankle soften out, go on to the, roll onto the outside edge here, and then come forward and then this inside edge cuts smoothly. Now these aren't the greatest, you can see I'm kind of starting to get it at the end. On the way back, 
I think I do a couple good little sets here. Yeah, so this kind of shows what I'm aiming for to be more consistent with. So you can see if you look as I do this, so I Goudreau, which again, not twisting those hips. I'm kind of cheating these a little bit because I think I know I'm going to roll that edge over. So I want to see that Goudreau. I really want to see that tilt, twist. And then as I go here, you can see my foot rolls from that toe dragging on the inside edge to an outside edge position. Nice and smooth. And rotate. So you can see it's kind of rolled onto that outside edge right here. What I'd like to see improved here is I want to initiate this hips, this Goudreau to hip scissor with a shoulder rotation. So this shoulder coming forward and this one rotating back. I want to see that a little bit more smooth and a little bit more of the starting of the rotation. And I think once I start to get that, I'll start to feel a lot more power and a lot more, a lot of the mechanics will kind of just come into play naturally. You can see here, this is a nice one. The tilt is here, which I like, nice and smooth, and then I roll over. I like to be a little bit more smooth with that roll, but again, not too bad. So this one I'm kind of anchoring, so digging that those anchors in. I like this one. You can see my shoulders are rotating really well. On the way back, you'll see it. You can see my shoulders are kind of initiating this rotation, coming around, and then the anchor pops, inside edge cuts here. Nice. I'm liking these ones. You can kind of see my shoulders already rotated before my hips start to rotate. So very good stuff. I'm very happy with that movement. Still got some room to go, but again, the roller blades are very tough because they're very loose. So this one. So now I'm going to throw the green biscuit in. What I'll do is I will get rid of the sound so you guys don't have to listen to that. And what we'll see is when we Goudreau here, the Goudreaux look very nice. So this is more what I want to see, this tilt right here. So it seems that when I add the puck in, for some reason it kind of causes this tilt and this tilt here. I'm not really sure exactly why. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. So smooth and cut out. Let's see how I do it on this side. Not too bad. Seems to be from backhand to forehand. I really get that movement in. So from forehand to backhand, I want to see a good fake to the right side and then a hard cut to the left. And I really want to see those hips tilt, shoulders tilt. I'm going to repeat this stuff because to me it's very important and it's the stuff I want to improve. So you can see I started to get these here. It's the same thing. It's always the one side struggles. I lose the puck and they get stuck on my blade there. Kind of weird. Alright, what, what do I do here? Can't remember. So, Goudreau. So working on the downs with the puck now. What you can see is that I kind of Goudreau here, and then when I do this hip scissor, which is the Dowlin move, it really creates a lot of space. So I Goudreau and then snap the puck. So here and then boom, boom. So I need to get a little lower is what I think I'm missing here. So. So when I pull, I'm liking the shoulder initiated movement here. And roll. I need a little bit more roll on this ankle on over here. This is my left ankle. I like that. What the puck seems to do is it forces me to initiate the movement with my shoulder, which is what I like. Good. You can see these ankles are very soft, which makes me happy. So you can see here. Right there you can see that soft ankle roll right over that's what I want to see that it really uses that outside edge very very well very happy with that as well <coughs> sorry about the voice guys I just <coughs> have to really make sure I talk low I don't want to <coughs> be too loud and annoying for my parents so this one Goudreau, Dallin, and Cross 
Goudreau, Dallin, and Cross. Biggest thing on these crosses, I really want to use the heel pressure and twisting the hips. So we'll watch on the way back. You'll get a better view of it. So we'll watch from here. So we want to Goudreau here. Not too bad. The shoulders are initiating the movement, but not a lot of hip tilt. It's okay. So this one, we stopped doing the cross. I just did the dial, the Goudreau to the hip scissor. <coughs> this one, anchor to Goudreau. Just combining movements here. I really like the way I move with the puck. I find that when I add in this puck, it causes the shoulder movements to really drive my movements. These are nice. A little bit more hip tilt on the Goudreau's would be nice. <coughs> That's what I would say I need to kind of add here. This one I kind of combine, so cross, anchor, Goudreau. Again, these are just little setup moves, creating momentum one way, cross. I like that one. This one, we step, we sell the cross. This is going to set up a nice move here. I would like to see a little bit more pressure on the heel. Rotate this right hip back a little bit more. Push, step. So this step here, when I stepped it forward, so this foot, when it drives forward, that's really going to sell that move as long as the puck shifts this way as well and the hips kind of sell it as they shift that way every everything here is really just pointing in this direction it's like there's no way I couldn't go that way to a defender right and then when we make this move then it's just that step now it looks like I'm definitely going that way I've committed now okay I have to go this way it's a second time now and then boom cut back keep the puck outside I like how I create this hip wall because if a player is trying to poke, there's kind of a, a, at least something blocking that puck and extend out. And I think that is it. It is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I really enjoyed doing this one. It's a lot of fun. It helps me kind of see what I need to work on. Obviously, the biggest thing I really want to focus on is getting that hip tilt which I'm still missing on my Goudreau's. I want to see the shoulders initiate my movement without the puck, and I want to see hip twist. I think the rest is pretty solid right now, so I want to focus on these three things. Once I get those, I'll be recording more, posting more uh, breakdowns of myself. Um, I might do some videos of some other players if they're interested in me breaking down their stuff as well. Um, if you're working with me for online coaching, I will... Uh, Definitely post your breakdowns on here to get uh, <clears throat> to have more people see them, get some comments, get some uh, some interest. And uh, as this channel continues to grow, you uh, might become a little bit more famous. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. It was a fun breaking down, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.